What's going on you guys? It is Mr. Game of Squatch here. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Squatch Den. And if you're a normal customer, how you doing? Welcome, good to see you again. Today I'm going to teach you guys a little bit of something about something you probably didn't really know that really existed. Unless you're in the hobby or grew up in the 90s, you might remember it. I know, feels like the 90s was just yesterday. That's 20 years ago, 30 years ago. My God, it's hard to think about that. But Hopefully, this is a little refresher for some people, but for the rest of you is that want to come and learn about a little something-something with some of these little things I got, pull out your pencils, give me an apple, because I'm going to be your teacher today, because I'm teaching you about the Game Boy camera right here. Yes, this little guy was first introduced as the pocket camera in Japan. Uh, it was released February 21st, 1998, and then ceased production in about two, late 2002. And it was actually dubbed the smallest digital camera by Guinness World Book of World Records in 1999. And you could probably tell because that itty bitty little pinhole right there is your camera in there. It can swivel a full 180 degrees so that you can take normal pictures facing outwards or before it was cool or before it made was easy with smartphones, you could take selfies. Wow, that'll intrigue all the kids that are watching this if they're even watching this. So right here I have myself a little Game Boy Color that I customized myself. Let's give it the old check here. I know, that's like a cardinal sin now to uh, blow into a Game Boy to get it to work, but better safe than sorry here. Try to make sure we have it on the right color here. I believe this is the right color, right? Oh, I think that should be it right there. So, here, you could, you could either shoot pictures, you could take pictures, which... All you're really looking at right now is my lights that are reflecting, maybe my camera light, but I believe you should be able to spin it around 180, and here we are, we're taking pictures. I have a little uh, Slipknot booklet from uh, when I went to the concert. Let's move my little dude here, and... There we go. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm saying here. Right here is my little Squatch dude. We can increase the contrast or decrease it a little bit. Now this is mostly used for just grayscale pictures because back in the day when you wanted to use it on an original Game Boy or Game Boy Pocket, it obviously was that you know lime green, you know sort of pea green like, you know, pea soup green screens. And so you didn't really have much choice about having color. And even when you had the Game Boy Color, it was still just in black and white like it is now. And a lot of times, I think that's a lot of people find is more appealing when they use, when they try to take some grayscale pictures nowadays. That's kind of the only aesthetic about this anymore. So we can increase the brightness if we want to. decrease it a little bit so that it's a little bit more detailed I guess or we can try and keep it about in the middle there all right and then you just press a to take a picture and you save it it only takes about like 25 pictures I have some left in my uh, in my album I guess you could say here where it's view yeah I got some pictures here like uh, Got my house, little picture of me, and then you can take, you can do stuff like edit your pictures and all. There, and that's my little dude here. But what I'm about to show you guys is something that's going to be really cool that you might have not have known about. If you already knew about the Game Boy camera, you could probably see this coming already. But I'm going to show you guys. The Game Boy Printer, which I believe was released around the same time as the Game Boy Camera. From what I can see here, it was originally released as the Pocket Printer, much like the other one was the Pocket Camera. Uh, it was released in Japan 
It is a thermal printer accessory released by Nintendo in 1998, which ceased production in early 2003. So not too much longer after the camera was taken off the market. Uh, the printer ex was taken off the market as well. And I honestly, when I first got this, I thought that I like screwed up or that it wasn't really working properly because I didn't realize it still had the original paper in it, like 20 something year old paper. And when I was trying to print off things, it was really, really faded. Like that's supposed to be a picture of me, but now that I was able to buy some paper on eBay, but I'm sorry, I stuttered. Yes, I bought it off of eBay. I will put a link in the description. That's what I was trying to get out. Uh, it works great. I just, I tried it myself a little bit earlier, printed some stuff off. It works great and I love it. And so a little tip, a little trick that you might not know about the printer if you did have it and never tried it. I found this out about watching, uh, I think, his Retro Future. I'll put a link to his uh, account right up top there. Uh, when you try to turn this on, hold down feed, and then switch it on. And you get a little nice little message here. And as you can see, too it comes out nice and clear. So as you can see here, we got some little dots and lines and a little Mario saying hello, right next to a Game Boy printer right there. I love that. That is something that is neat. So now you've taken your picture, which the Game Boy camera wasn't the only thing you could play uh, you can, it's not the only thing you can use to link up with the printer. There's, this is a list of other games that I have pulled up here so I can try and give you guys nice accurate information. So, the games that are compatible with the Game Boy printer that you can print things off of is Alice in Wonderland, Asteroids, Austin Powers O oh Behave, Austin Powers Welcome to My Underground Lair, Card Captor Sakura, Itsomo Sakura chan to Isho. I probably butchered that, but it's definitely a Japanese game because I've never heard of it. Card Captor Sakura Tomi Shagato Di Diadokai. I don't know. Uh, Disney's Dinosaur, Disney's Tarzan, Donkey Kong Country, ET Digital Companion. Fisher Price Rescue Heroes Fire Frenzy, the Game Boy Camera, of course, Harvest Moon 2, Kakurenbo Battle Monster Tactics, Clax, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, The Little Mermaid 2 Pinball Frenzy, Little Nicky, Logical, I don't know if that's actually a game or if that just is what it is, but it just sits there, uh, Magical Drop. Mary Kate and Ashley Pocket Planner, Mickey's Racing Adventure, Mickey's Speedway USA, Mission Impossible, NFL Blitz, Perfect Dark, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Gold and Silver, except for Korean versions. And I'm not making that up. That has it on the actual list. I don't know why. But Pokemon Gold and Silver, except Korean versions, Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Card GB2, Great Rocket Dan Sanjo, Sanjo, I want to say that's how you say it, Pokemon Yellow, the Special Pikachu Edition, Puzzled, which I don't know if that's actually a game or if that's just a description or something, I would imagine it's probably actually a game, Quest for Camelot, Roadsters, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, and Trade and Battle Card Hero. That is a lot more games than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I already knew it for, like, Pokemon games and stuff, but... And the Game Boy Pocket. I mean, uh, camera, sorry. Uh, but, man, that's a lot. And if you were to try and order yourself some more printer paper, the roll width is 
38.0 millimeters. Uh, the roll, which is one and a half inches. The roll diameter is 29.5 to 30 millimeters or one and a 16th to one and 18th inches. Central spiral spindle core diameter is about 12 millimeters or 0.47 inches. And unrolled length should be 390.0 to 400.0 centimeters, which is about 153.5 to 157.5 inches. Now that we got all the numbers out of the way for the printer, why don't we actually try and print off our little picture of our Squatch, huh? So I have my little link cable dongle looking thingy. <laughs> thingy. And we will plug it in here. And then we plug it into the other side here, upside down. We'll keep that plugged in there. And now, if the connection is good, hit A, go up, and then you hit print, and then say print. And then it does a little bit of transferring. Uh-oh. We, uh, that is a creepy face. Okay, I might have interrupted the uh, little connection. Might have came a little bit loose here. All right, let's give this another go. Takes a little bit of time to transfer so that it tells the system over here what it's supposed to print. And there it goes. I like the little doctor observing the, uh, looks like a hedgehog or something on a ball. That's pretty cool. Is that not pretty cool? Because then on the original printer paper, I believe you probably could have peeled it off and like made it into a sticker. But now, that's my little dude. That's my that's little me. <laughs> little, little squatch me right there, man. That's awesome. So, that works. And I guess. You can also, with the Game Boy, you can play games as well. You can either do Space Fever, or you can try and do Ball, and you take a picture of yourself, and you play. It will take three pictures for reactions, but yes, it does play Ball. Which I believe, what is it? Uh, yeah, you play the arcade video game Space Fever and the Game & Watch handheld game Ball on those games. Using your face for Ball. Now, I have a high score of about like two something, maybe three. I don't think we want to be sitting here all day, all day watching that. But can we just take a second to appreciate this like glitching schizo like person in a Mario costume? With that music. Like what is that even supposed to be? I'm kind of scared. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking with that. But I guess they were thinking, hey, it's the 90s, why not? So, I think we I think we had enough of that. <laughs> so, why don't we uh, why don't we try popping in a game and printing some stuff off? Like I've got crystal here. Just got to be safe to make sure it works. Okay, here we go. We're starting up here. I got a little bit of dust on the screen there, but yep. Can I just talk about how much I love this screen? It is so bright and vibrant and just gives so much color and detail to the game. All right, so let's go into Pokedex and try to uh, print off some stuff here. Like, uh, let's do Typhlosion. Because there's a difference. I'm gonna do it again here, clutch. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. Okay, let's 
plug her in like that up. All right. And go over to print. And it's checking the link and it's transmitting. Give it a second. Just got to give it. There you go. And now it starts to print out the Pokedex entry. Uh-oh. We've got a problem here. The paper was not straight. Uh-oh. Well, that's the uh, problem with these sometimes. If it doesn't get pulled out straight, it might crimp, crimp and cringle. Okay. <laughs> huh, so much for that. That's... That just happens sometimes. It's a printer. What are you gonna do? Let's re... Let's redo that again. Oh, we didn't do it right. Hold on. There we go. Got a hold of it for a second there. There you go, and it did it. Alright, now let's try printing it again. Sometimes it's a little bit tedious that it takes so long, but it's sending the information to the printer to tell it what to print. So. There we go. Hold up. Let's get a look at that there. Just like that. And give it a second here. It's going to go again. There. Because it's technically printing out two sides of the same dex entry so that you can read off the full thing. Alright, let's scroll down here a little bit. I want to print out, let's see, let's do Pikachu because I don't have him. And we'll see how much prints out. Like, I think it's just going to be a plain blank Pokedex entry. Uh-oh. Yeah, I screwed up the connection again. Oopsies. Okay. Okay, ready? We're gonna do it again here. There. Sounds like it's definitely working this little heart out, but it's printing it. I'm really happy with that new printer paper, too. I mean, it's really coming out nice and clear. I believe when you beat the game, too, and finish out the entire Pokedex with, like, yellow and, uh, and crystal and gold and all that, you can actually print out yourself a little certificate saying that you're, like, a Pokemon master and that your Pokedex is 100% complete. But yeah, you can just uh, print out any Pokedex entry that you have. Let's bring you back over over here. Okay, let's do let's do Togepi. So otherwise, yeah, we got ourselves a whole little roll of uh, <laughs> Pokedex entries. You could technically print out the entire Pokedex if you wanted to when you're done, but uh, you might need a roll or two for that. Because they come out full like this. And then we're getting ready for the second half. Alright, well... I think that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned a little something that you didn't know before. Which is kind of the whole point of learning, of course. But I hope you guys got to enjoy it. Because I certainly did. Certainly. Yeah, see? And then, uh, then you just rip her right off. And you got the little hello. You got your Typhlosion entry here that you can fully read. 
Then you got Pikachu, which is blank because I haven't caught a Pikachu yet in Crystal. And then you got Togepi. So, yeah. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment. Comment what you think about this. Do you think it was really practical back in the day? Or do you think it's even practical now? I really don't think it is because we've got such technological advances. But for nostalgic factors and the fact that this bad boy still works, I think it's still pretty cool and, and relevant. I believe Good Mythical Morning did an episode with uh, bringing things back. And I, I think they did do the camera and printer. And they, I think they agreed, saying to bring it back. Because, no, wait, did they say it was bring it back or, or that it was whack? Either way, check that video out yourself, too, if you haven't already. And uh, I hope you guys try to stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, I guess you could say. Whatever makes you happy. And I'll see you guys in the Squatch Den the next time. Bye-bye.